British Columbia is home to the best, to the most innovative, to the most environmentally sensitive mining sector anywhere on this globe. You are, although never taking risks when it comes to safety, never taking risks when it comes to holding up your end of the environmental bargain. You are an industry that people look at around the world and say, we want to make it work like that in our home. We went to a three-week trip across Asia last November, uh, talked to companies, smelters, mining companies, and trading companies in Japan, China, Korea, and they all uh, really think BC is a great destination for uh, their investment and for partnerships. Uh, we think that uh, you know we will see uh, more investment coming from Asia into this province. We committed to reduce the backlog of applications for notice of, notices of work in the mining sector by 80% within 12 months. When I made that announcement to the Board of Trade here in Vancouver in September, we started with 229 notices. Today, four months later, we have cut those 229 notices down to just 85. There's definitely a lot of uh, benefits going into communities and uh, that most dollars are spent because most exploration is outside of, uh, outside of the lower valley. So a lot of those benefits go into the local communities. In our preliminary economic assessment, which we completed last spring, uh, we looked at, uh, at the, uh, say, a $3 copper price. Over the 22-year mine life, we'd be spending about a billion dollars in taxes. That's just direct taxes from the mine to the, the two levels of government. It doesn't include payroll taxes. It doesn't include all the spin-off businesses and support businesses in the in the region of the mine. And typically, for every job created in a mine, there's three jobs created in the surrounding area. And we are just getting started. When I became premier, the number one thing that the mining sector said to me, and in fact, the number one thing that my own caucus said to me was, Christy, we have to get rid of the backlogs in government. And we have to find a way to get out of the way so that we can liberate that economic activity and put people to work.